in this problem we will discuss about the equilibrium position of the heavy block placed at the at the rough inclined place this the block M is the heavy block and this block is placed in the rough inclined plane and now we'll discuss about the equilibrium state okay first we will draw the free body diagram this is the fundamental things of mechanics draw the free body diagram from here to here I have already drawn for you here this the M M mass M mass and we have total M means mg force to means downward direction because this is the theta I have already taken the component of this of, of, of this force one is mg sine theta another is mg cos theta okay and then we have a friction force in this direction y in this direction y outward direction because this block will try to move down right that's why friction force will be there in this direction upward direction another force is your normal in general in regular problem when we assume this block as a small block we always take n which passes through the center of mass of this body but in this case we cannot take it I will tell you why if in case let I have drawn that circuit uh, not circuit as a free body diagram for you uh, if we assume my n means a normal reaction of the surface is passes through the center of mass of the body then what will happen we will have this force n we will have mg cos theta another mg sin theta if we if we try to calculate or try to find out the moment of all force with respect to point P then we will get some resultant force sorry resultant torque and it means that resultant torque will try to topple down this block but here the fundamental thing is that this block is there in equilibrium it means we have to have some force somewhere here so that this block should not topple down it means the normal must act in this must act somewhere here so that it should balance this torque because mg is making torques in, in this direction and this n should balance this torque right then n torque should act here not the, at the center point okay but if body is small then we can assume that n will act n will pass through the center of mass okay now come to the main main free body diagram here mg cos theta m sin theta n dash now what all force what are force acting toward the surface toward the inclined surface this f and mg sin theta it means our f should be equal to f should be equal to mg sin theta okay and what are the force which are acting in the 90 degree means in the perpendicular direction to the surface is n dash and mg the n uh, sorry n and mg n should be equal to sorry m dash and mg cos theta the mg cos theta now we will apply this the this for the uh, uh, which translational force right this is for translational force and now we'll discuss about the rotational force for rotational force we have a we, we, we will take the moment of force from this point with respect to this point let me choose some yellow color with respect to this point why I have chosen this point because two line of force is passing through this one is this friction another is this one right if line of line of force will pass through some point means the point for, with respect to that 
with with respect to which I am taking the moment, then that torque will be zero. Then our calculation will get reduced. That is why I am taking this as a reference point. Now I will calculate the torque with respect to this point. Point, let's assume this point P or whatever. Point P. Okay. Then the distance between this point and this line of force is X means n into x torque will try to try to rotate this block in this direction so n into x and we have another force this force this force is not passing through this point right this force means moment of this force with respect to point p will be this and this force will try to rotate this body in this direction and these two rotations are in opposite direction and this two rotation must be equal in order to make this block in equilibrium then mg sine theta into this distance this distance right the total height of this block is h this distance must be h by 2 this should be h by 2 you will get x x will be equal to mg sin theta h by 2 n what about n n is mg cos theta then final value of x will be equal to n is mg cos theta that will get cancelled and you will end up with sin theta h by 2 Okay, see you in the next lecture. Bye.